Live from San Juan, Puerto Rico, it's Miss Universe 2002. And here are 75 of the most beautiful women in the world. Anissa Kospiri, Albania. Giovanna Lay, Angola. Hi everybody, I'm Phil Sims. Hi, I'm Daisy Quintes. We are right in the middle of San Juan and the whole city is celebrating Miss Universe 2002. It is wild out here and there's no sign of it stopping. So let's meet the rest of the delegates. Sarah Davies, Australia.
Chiba from Nigeria. Jim Gridley, Northern Mariana Island. Kekaku, Norway. Justine Fasek, Panama. Adriana Cubiate, Peru. Carrie Lagustin, Philippines. Joanna Drozdowska, Palam. Ivo Lombarón, Wow. Isis Casaldo, Puerto Rico. Oksana Fyodorov, Russia. Norlisa Osman, Singapore. Iris Mule from Slovenia. Vanessa Carrera, South Africa. Vani Villan, España. Maluha South Sweden. Jenny Franger from Switzerland. Daniela Chantom, Thailand. Liliana Goreva, Ukraine. Fiorella Fleitas, Uruguay. Marlissa George, United States, Virgin Islands. Shantae Hinton, USA. Cynthia Andrews Amor, Venezuela. Vladina Bozzi, Yugoslavia. party is just getting started. When we come back, we're going inside for Mark Anthony and the top 10 here on Miss Universe 2002. Miss Universe 2002 is sponsored by Kia Motors, makers of a full line of quality cars backed by a 10-year warranty program. Well, it was great meeting all those fantastic women outside, and now the party continues in here. Oh, it does, baby. Señoras y señores, le presento Mark Anthony.
sweet if I was only doing videos and shows, but baby, I'm so glad that I've got you. Great job, Mark. Good to see you. Oh, you're awesome as always. Good to see you, Daisy. Oh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great, you know, just uh, happy to be here, and uh, it's a special time for Puerto Rico, it's a special time for me, and just being back is great. Your wife is an ex Miss Universe, Dayanara. You know exactly what these girls are going through, don't you? Oh, absolutely. She's, she's right there. I love you, Mama. That's my baby. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, Miss Universe has a special meaning in my household, if you know what I mean. And I just want to uh, congratulate all the ladies that are here and just tell them to relax and have a good time and enjoy Puerto Rico. That's all I have to say. some more yeah well daisy this is the perfect time where we'd like to introduce our announcer for tonight former miss universe of 1997 brooke lee so phil you've had a lot of experience analyzing football games for the nfl how about a little play-by-play -play for tonight's action huh well this might be a little different than an nfl game but here's the bit. drill tonight there's 75 ladies and they will compete in three categories evening gowns, swimsuits, and interview. And I gotta say this, the ladies, they're a lot prettier, they're a lot nicer than NFL players. <laughs> and Daisy, you've been here all week, she's been coaching me, and I gotta tell you this, I love taking orders from you. <laughs> well, he hardly needs any coaching, but I do love when men cooperate, you know what I mean? That's it's right, it's nice. <laughs> How about any advice on winning? I know you know plenty about that. Well, sometimes I was lucky enough to win. These ladies have been here for three weeks, they practice, they know what they gotta do here tonight. But the big question is, pressure. You can feel it up here, you can feel it in the audience. Who handles the pressure has the best chance to win? Sounds like excellent advice. Um, for the first time ever, we're also asking the audience around the globe to submit tonight's final question. So go ahead and log on to CBS.com because your question could determine who wins tonight. You know, it's hard to believe it. When these ladies got together a couple weeks ago, they were total strangers, but it didn't take long before they really got to know each other. We went ahead and asked the ladies to make some predictions and pick some of their own favorites. So here now are this year's Delegates' Choices. Miss Germany. Miss Cyprus. Miss Cyprus. Miss Cyprus. I'd have to say probably Jamaica. Miss Jamaica. Miss Aruba. Miss Venezuela. Peru. I think Miss Ukraine smile is a very good one. USA. 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 It's USA. 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 Well, I'm not. <laughs> USA. <laughs> Miss Panama has a lovely figure. Germany. Puerto Rico. Kenya. Aruba. Korea. Curaçao. Estonia. Czech Republic. Slovenia. Slovenia. <laughs> Slovenia. <laughs> Slovenia. Slovenia, she has a great body. <laughs> Her question probably is Philippines. Puerto Rico. Norway. Dominican Republic. Jamaica. Korea. Colombia. U.S. Virgin Islands. 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 <laughs> Gosh, that's hard. Miss Colombia and Miss Venezuela. Belgium, Switzerland, USA. Miss Germania, Miss um, Colombia, Miss South Africa, Miss um, Panama, Miss Jamaica, uh, another woman. Miss USA, Miss Puerto Rico, Miss Colombia, Miss Venezuela, Miss Curacao. Puerto Rico, Dominica Republic. Kenya, Kenya. Kenya. <laughs> Kenya. Kenya. <laughs> and maybe Kenya. Me, of course. <laughs> Once again, please welcome the 75 delegates of Miss Universe 2002.
Okay, everyone, the world is about to get a little smaller. One of the most impossible tasks of the Miss Universe competition is narrowing down these 75 women to a select 10. Yeah, well, someone had to do it, and I'm just glad it wasn't us. Well, early this week, a separate panel of judges met with all the delegates and cast their votes. Their favorites are what make up this year's top 10. Here are the choices in random order. First up, Albania. Professional basketball player for eight years, Albania would one day like to be an ambassador for UNICEF. You're on Russia. Reader, Russia's childhood hero is the Three Musketeers, D'Artagnan. She is also a champion volleyball player. We now invite South Africa. With a love for classic literature, especially Jane Austen, South Africa has already begun writing her first novel. We're now calling on India. An MTV VJ in her country, India hopes to produce, direct, and host her own show based on social and political issues. We're halfway there, Germany! Germany plans to combine a master's degree in business administration with her love of art by becoming a fashion designer. Please join us, Cyprus! Third-year college student, Cyprus is currently fulfilling her childhood dream as a Miss Universe contestant. All right, let's see Canada! Canada hosts a news and entertainment program and hopes to connect with people worldwide through a career in broadcasting. Next, we have... Panama! Panama hopes to work as an environmental engineer and someday earn a position at the Smithsonian Research Center. It's time for China! China is trained in traditional Chinese dance, which is her passion, and has graduated from a dance university. And the final spot goes to Venezuela. Emergency, you can count on Venezuela, especially trained to be a firefighter for natural disasters and rescue. There they are, the top ten. Congratulations, ladies. All the delegates tonight are wearing design. Tadashi coming up the evening gown competition and swimsuits as Miss Universe 2002 continues. Welcome back, 
Welcome, everybody. What would a competition be without just the right people keeping score? We've assembled our, only, our very own panel of judges from the worlds of fashion, entertainment, and sports. These are the people making tonight's big decision. Top fashion designer, Nicole Miller. Football MVP, Marshall Falk. You know him from the amazing race, Oswald Mendez. He's been called today's Renaissance man of style, Amir. International supermodel and actress, Tatiana Petit. R&B recording star, Tyrese. Best-selling author and entrepreneur, Yu Sai Khan. Star of the CBS series, Family Law, Christopher McDonald. TV host and former Miss Universe, Marisol Malaret. And Survivor Africa winner, Ethan Zahn. Thank you, judges. The delegates that make the top 10 come from very different backgrounds and cultures. Let's meet these extraordinary women one by one and find out just what they want us to know. Albania. I come from a birthplace of Mother Teresa. Many people are not aware that she was from Albania. It makes me very proud to have something in common with this selfless woman. Meeting her when I was 12 years old changed my life. I'm an attorney. I teach civil law in St. Petersburg at the University of Manchester, Ontario, where I am also currently studying for my PhD. I like to travel to other countries, spend time with my friends, and invite people to my house. I think a smile always creates wonders. People often ask me why it is I think I was chosen above the other eligible delegates to represent my country at the Miss Universe pageant. I reply that I know what it takes, I have what it takes, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I carry that attitude forward with me today. has taught me to cherish my past and move ahead into the future. In one word, I would describe myself as positive because I always look at the sunnier side of life. I believe that if you smile your way through life, the world shall smile with you. Germany. I was brought up with two different cultures, Venezuela and Germany, which is why I enjoy being here and learning more about other countries. I thank God for giving me this opportunity and the pleasure to feel the loving hospitality of Puerto Ricans. Big kisses, Borin and querido. I studied communications and public relations and have studied interior and fashion design. For the past five years, I have been a member of a children's charity. I became a swimming champion on my national team where I learned that hard work and dedication will help me to accomplish any goal. I live to explore different people, cultures, and above all, myself. I've traveled to over 25 countries, and through each journey I've learned to accept, embrace, and celebrate the unique beauty in the people and experiences I've encountered. Tonight, I hope to share with you my unique beauty and the spirit of my country. I was 
born in Ukraine. My father is Polish and my mother is Panamanian. I have lived in cities around Europe, America and Asia and will also be attending school in New Zealand. Nowhere have I felt like a foreigner, so I am proud to say that I feel like a citizen of the world. China. Belief in my ability to do anything gives me the confidence and the strength to help others. I want to be intelligent and not lose sight of the goals and the value of my future. In the future, I will run my own fashion clothing company. Venezuela. I would like to let the world know that with discipline, strong moral values, and learning from every detail of life, it is possible to develop skills to reach our goals. I believe my being here this evening is a perfect example of this truth. Whoever wins tonight will be the very first to wear this brand new official Miss Universe crown designed by Mickey Moto. Can you stand it, diamonds and pearls? Oh, it is absolutely stunning. The value? A quarter of a million dollars. Oh Whoa. I know, I want to take it and run too. I know, what do you think? It's very beautiful and very expensive. Nice. Any predictions? Who do you think is going to take it home? Well, I would love to be China, but all the friends I wish you the best, and I hope you all are the queens. <laughs> You're all queens. How about you? Well, I hope my roommate missed South Africa, and good luck to everybody else. And hello to everyone in Ireland, especially everyone in Belly Duff. <laughs> well, the girls have really been preparing all year for tonight's competition, but as you're about to see, the past three weeks right here in Puerto Rico were really the most intense. direct from Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas. Coming up, evening gown and swimsuits as Miss Universe 2002 continues here at Roberto Clemente Coliseum in San Juan. Culture, history, paradise. That's our San Juan, an oasis of life. Beyond the historic walls of old San Juan is a vibrant city with so much to experience. Excellent dining and exciting nightlife. A paradise of entertainment, culture, and art. Well, my first memory of old San Juan is when I visited the city with my friends in a field trip. And I just remember seeing the architecture in the streets for the very first time in my life, and it was a magical experience.
That's our San Juan, waiting for you. and beauty. Yeah, that's what the judges are looking for in our first official round of competition. And that's why all the women get to look very elegant. The ladies tonight will be dressed up in gowns that reflect their own personal taste and style from their respective countries. And now, the Miss Universe 2002 evening gown competition. We begin tonight's competition with Albania. Russia.
Venezuela. point out that all the ladies here tonight are winners. Each of them had to win the title in their own country first to get here. We asked the delegates to share their personal experiences of competing all over the world. In Venezuela, it's very um, prestigious, the Miss Venezuela contest. It gives you a lot of pressure because yeah. you become like a hero for kids. The competition in South Africa is pretty stiff. There's about 45,000 entries to begin with. Wow. Um, and you know, we send in entry forms and photos, and from that they select a small group in each city. They're all so beautiful in Israel. Very talented, very smart. I don't know how did I win, but... Oh, please, go <laughs> in my case, the pageant lasts four months from the month of, from May to September. Miss China, it's your first time here. I mean, what, what's it like in your country? You know, it's the first time I have a Miss China. And before I come over here, nobody will teach me what should I do because nobody knows. After I go back in China, I will teach the next mm -hmm. Miss China yeah. what they should do. So far, the most memorable part of being Miss South Africa was a lady who phoned me on my cell phone and said to me, please hold the line for my diva. After about a minute or so, the most familiar voice in the entire world was just like, good morning, Vanessa, how are you? And I was like, <laughs> oh, so it's it? Mandela, it's Mandela. <laughs> I got to visit 20 minutes in the Oval Office with President Bush. <laughs> when I met the president, I became a complete, just, I, I folded completely. I was like, hi. <laughs> He didn't treat me like, oh, she's just a beauty queen. Hi, nice to meet you. But he was like, all right. Mine is very personal. The evening of my, um, when I crowned it, um, well, my dad hugs me, and he just told me how much he's very proud of me. Aww. Aww. Did, stop it. <laughs> Swimsuits as Miss Universe 2002 continues here on CBS. Well, the swimsuit competition is coming up, and let's face it, ladies, there's only one way to prepare for it, working out. That's the way to do it. Puerto Rico proved to be the perfect spot for the girls to have just that right amount of work and fun in the Caribbean sun. The only thing that keeps me slim and fit is cardio, lots and lots of cardio. And I do lift weights, I uh, do bench pressing. I like to work with free weights more so than you know other weights because I prefer I get an equal amount of coverage on both arms and legs. Stretching is very important because after a long workout, it's very important to elongate your muscles because they become tense after a workout. So cardio, lifting weights, and thousands and thousands of crunches, <laughs> and lots of stretching. That's my workout routine. I'm very physically active. I like to engage in sports. Cardio is definitely one big element of my routine. I like to run, probably about for half an hour to 45 minutes every day. And um, after that, I do some weight training. And I train all parts of my body. That's lower body, upper body, arms, back, you name it. You're seeing quite a shift and even the body type of women that enter these competitions. Traditionally, you would have uh, more petite frames, but now you've got women who are more physically active, more of a muscle tone coming in, which I think is fantastic because I think physical and mental health are very important components. No matter how hard you train and get your body in shape for this next part of the competition, it's really that certain kind of unique, 
harder to find confidence that the judges are looking for. Yeah, but of course, if you happen to look fabulous in a swimsuit, hey, no one's going to argue with that. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Point Apparel Swimsuit and Fitness Competition.
China. Venezuela. Stuart Weitzman, the winner of the blue post, the winner of the Blue Point apparel swimsuit and fitness competition will also win a $3,000 cash prize from Blue Point. And the winner is Russia. We'll be back with the top five and a performance by Mark Anthony. Puerto Rico's capital city of San Juan is one of the world's best tourist destinations. From its cobblestone street to its historic fortresses and castles, everywhere you look are architectural gems like no place else in the world. Beyond its history, San Juan is a modern city with world-class shopping, outstanding dining, and a vibrant, exciting nightlife. Discover our traditional hospitality, and you will come back for more. Come to San Juan. Feel San Juan. Hey, hey, we're back at Miss Universe 2002. All of the delegates came here tonight with high expectations, but they also brought with them some misconceptions about each other's countries. Who did you most want to meet? I most wanted to meet China because I studied Chinese at school and I went to Shanghai and Beijing on a student exchange program. It was also their first year in the pageant. And China speaks perfect English. Yes, she's very good. <laughs> How about you? Any misconceptions? Oh yes, um, I expected Miss Sweden to be the classic Nordic beauty, but instead I got a Tyra Banks look-alike. <laughs> we come in all shapes and colors and sizes, that's what's special. Um, any good roommate stories? I have a great roommate story. My roommate was Miss Canada, and I expected as well some blonde, blue-eyed woman, and she, was, she is of East Indian descent. And I am so proud of her for breaking some molds and representing the diversity of the Miss Universe pageant. Well, there you go. Earlier this week, we caught up with some of the delegates who had a lot to say, not only about misconceptions, but about the changing roles of women all around the globe. This misconception that people have about the women in my country is that they're very conservative. But I am an example, and, you know, I want to take everyone home with me and show them that we are excellent homemakers, but that's not the only thing we do. People expect the women in my country, being Asian, to be subservient. Yeah. But that's not true, because Singapore is, I think, one of the leaders in Southeast Asia in terms of giving equal opportunity mm -hmm. to the women of our country. We have leaders who are women, who represent women's yeah, issues. Even, even yeah. Our president is a woman. Yeah. Our former president is a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the role of Irish women in society is the highest. In Canada, so women have reached a level of equality with men. I don't think it's a matter of um, intelligence or, or ambition or faith even. I think it's a matter of opportunity. And I know in my country we've been given that opportunity. Being from Africa, I can really relate to what Miss India and Miss mm -hmm. Singapore have said. We got our independence in 1990. 
and we are a relatively new democracy. So women are only now finding their way to parliament. They're really working towards, you know, uplifting women. People think traditional and they think male dominated. Yeah. But for us, in Micronesia, mm -hmm. historically, women have the most status and power. Um, especially now, going through modern times, women still have control of all the land, of businesses. So we actually empower the women. I'm sure all of the countries are very proud of being represented here tonight by such a group of diverse and interesting, not to mention beautiful women. Way to go, ladies. Good job now. Who's having a good time here in Puerto Rico? Woo! We are. Oh. Is this a great place or what? All right, we're going to keep the party going. Who loves Mark Anthony? Oh, we all do. <laughs> you just got a big hug from Mark. Yeah, a hug and a kiss, actually. Oh, there you go. Well, we've got him for you right now. You won't get the hug and a kiss, but you will get him performing one of his biggest hits you sang to me once again, international superstar, Mark Anthony. <laughs>
You may Coming know up, the one top for its beaches, nightlife, culture, and history. But it is also a capital of modern business activity. San Juan features luxurious hotels and premier meeting and convention facilities. The financial district is the center of the island's banking industry and home to diverse and powerful national and international companies. San Juan, a unique combination of past and present with a future as bright as its sunlit beaches. Well, now it's getting exciting. Okay, everyone, it's late in the game. The judges have made some tough decisions, and we're about to narrow down the top ten to the final five. Here are the choices in random order. First up, Panama. Next, we have China. Please join us, South Africa. Now it's time for Venezuela. And rounding out the top five is Russia. All right, congratulations, ladies. There they are, the top five of Miss Universe 2002. We're ready for the next round of competition, and this is definitely my favorite part. Really getting to know the delegates just a little bit better, one-on-one. -on -one. And for the first time at Miss Universe, the top five will each be asked questions that were posed by the other delegates. They'll have 35 seconds to answer until they hear this bell. Yeah, some of the delegates have requested to use precision translating services. So, there are no right or wrong answers. You know, it's just a matter of being yourself with the entire universe watching. Not much pressure, right? Right. I'm sure they're gonna do great, okay? So, here we go. We're gonna start with Panama. Hola. Pick a question. Okay. The delegate from France asks, if you had to represent another country in this competition, what country would you want to be si and why? Tu, si tuvieras tú que representar a otro país en este concurso o el certamen, ¿qué país sería y por qué sería ese país? Well, since my visit here, I feel now that I would love to represent Puerto Rico. <laughs> at home so I am very grateful to this enchanted land and that's definitely the place I would like to represent thank you Panama thank you okay next up is China hello pick a question okay let's see this question is from you, so that would be way too easy. You gotta pick another one. <laughs> okay, I'm popping that one back in there. This one is from Nigeria, and she asked, what is the biggest misconception about your country? Um, I think uh, maybe uh, always Western people, and they will think like uh, Chinese people, they have very uh, short, and they have a traditional, and they very quiet, and uh, I think right now, look me! Look at you indeed. And I, I, thank you. Thank you. All right, South Africa, it's your turn. Go ahead and pick your question. Okay. This question is from China. What's the one thing that you need to overcome? 
I think I tend to be a little bit self-critical at times. Um, I set goals for myself, and when I don't achieve them or don't achieve them soon enough, I seem to be very, very critical. So if we can get over that, I think nothing could stand in my way. Thank you. Please join me, Venezuela. Hola. Please grab a question. OK. Belgium poses this question. What is the most important thing that you learned about yourself through participating in Miss Universe? ¿Qué es lo más importante que has aprendido de tu persona al participar en el certamen de Miss Universo? Well, definitely that we as human beings prepare skills to get our goals. And since um, I have a great family and since they have raised me with a lot of love, I have been developing skills to be where I am right now. You, I'm here with you because of you and you made me. And thank you. Thank you. And last but not least, Russia. Costa Rica asks, if your life were a videotape, what would you erase and what would you replay? If you would show your life on the screen, what would you do and what would you do again? I would show your life again. It was very beautiful. And I don't care about what my life was. I would first like to talk about my childhood because it was a very pleasant experience. And then as I would talk about my life, I would like for my life to be shown from the beginning to the end. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Okay, coming up, see which country takes the crown right here on Miss Universe 2002. get started, Daisy, I'd like to ask a question that all the men in this audience want to know, and probably all the men around the world want to know. Have you ever put a dress on that didn't look good? Phil, you handsome devil. Compliments will get you everywhere. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. Yes, thank all you. Right. I love that. All right, now before we crown the new Miss Universe, we'd first like to give out two very special awards. The winners will also receive the Hoya Crystal Trophy. First, the award for Miss Photogenic was voted by you, the public, online. So let's see who you pick to be most photogenic. And the winner is Puerto Rico. the crown and the prestigious title also gets a whole lot of amazing prizes. Here to show us the reigning Miss Universe, Denise Quinonez. The Miss Universe will enjoy a luxury New York City apartment during her reign, a fabulous personal appearance wardrobe, and a welcome part in the CBS daytime drama The Bold and the Beautiful. 
Maurice Lacroix, maker of fine Swiss timepieces and the official watch of Miss Universe 2002, proudly presents this year's winner with a stunning diamond watch. She also receives a $3,000 cash prize from Bluepoint Apparel, the official swimwear of Miss Universe 2002 and proud sponsor of tonight's swimsuit competition. Arpeggio International, the official cosmetic line of Miss Universe 2002, presents a collection of Arpeggio Cosmetics and a $3,000 cash prize. The School for Film and Television in New York City is proud to award Miss Universe with a $45,000 scholarship to its two-year conservatory program. Mikimoto, the official jeweler of Miss Universe 2002, is proud to present this year's winner with an exquisite cultured pearl and diamond tiara. She will also be the first to wear the official Mikimoto crown. Stuart Weitzman presents a specially created Miss Universe shoe along with footwear from his collection. This past year, Denise traveled to Japan and got a first-hand look at the making of the official Miss Universe crown. I was proud to meet with Mr. Mikimoto in Japan where he and his craftsmen worked for months to create the ultimate crown for the ultimate woman. What they designed was truly unique. Our design of the rising phoenix symbolizes power, grace, and eternal beauty. All the attributes of Miss Universe. The crown includes 120 cultured pearls and 800 diamonds weighing 18 carats and is valued at $250,000. Tonight, this very special crown becomes a part of the Miss Universe tradition. Coming up, the final question and the crown as Miss Universe 2002 continues. San Juan is the island's premier center of performing arts, theater, and music. Host to fabulous events such as Old San Juan Gallery Night, the Casals Festival every summer, the Symphony Orchestra, and many other popular events. San Juan has arts and entertainment for every taste. Well, it doesn't matter what country you're from, expressing yourself under pressure is hard for anyone. And that's what the final round is all about. The top five delegates will be asked the very same question, which was submitted on CBS.com. We begin with Panama. This question was su submitted online. Oh, I'm sorry. Delegates, please step over to the listing station so you can't hear. There we go. Now, if they can't hear, we can get started. This question was submitted online from Sydney, Australia. This is your final question. What makes you blush? ¿Qué te hace ruborizar, sonrojar? Well, I really can't help blushing when people complain, compliment me or they give me their sincere um, cariño. Love. The sincere love, it's very, I love it, but it's so, I feel so blessed that I can't help blushing. That's I, honestly what it is. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Next up is China. <laughs> this is your final question. What makes you blush? Uh, uh, right now, <laughs> uh, and uh, and uh, when I was with my family, when I was my best friends, and right now when I was with all of the Puerto Rico friends, and I think, and I think I'm so proud right here, and I think I'm the first to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is South Africa. This is your final question. What makes you blush? 
makes me blush. Uh, being embarrassed, I think I'm a person who's very, very proud, and I don't take it easily when people make fun of me. So definitely that, I tend to be the sort of, you know, stiff upper lip. <laughs> All right, thank you. Next up is Venezuela. This is your final question. What makes you blush? ¿Qué te hace ruborizar, sonrojar? Ooh la la. <laughs> well, I believe that um, when people say something cute to me and it makes me feel a little anxious, I would blush. <laughs> okay, thank you. Great job. And next up is Russia. This is your final question. What makes you blush? When I say the wrong things. We can all relate to that. Thank you. Great job, everyone. Now it's all in the hands of the judges who will rank the top five and will decide who will win Miss Universe. I am here with Denise Quinone as the reigning Miss Universe from Puerto Rico. Can you feel the love, Mama? These people yes. love you. <laughs> I'm feeling the love right now, yes. <laughs> All right, well, the judges right now are, are voting on what they've just heard and what they've just seen. What are they looking for? I think a straightforward answer, an answer that comes from the heart, a clear answer as well. I think that's what they're looking for. Well, you've been right where they are. Do you even remember last year? What were you thinking? Were you nervous? Oh, I was not nervous, nervous at all. I think I was very concentrated and focused on giving the proper answer. So I, I felt pretty calm, especially I had people in Puerto Rico right next to me. So Of course, although I would think, would that make you more nervous because there's more pressure or does it just psych you out? Well, thank God I didn't feel any pressure at all. On the contrary, I felt very relaxed and I had the blessings and the support of all the Puerto Rican people. So I, I think that gave me a plus. All right, so now we know the top five. Any predictions? Um, I don't know. I think the public here loves Russia. Uh, Panama is beautiful, too. You have a great answer. China is a very authentic. Uh, you know what? Who knows? Anything can happen right now. You rock. You've done a great job. Congratulations. You guys, don't go anywhere, because we are just a minute away from the crowning of Miss Universe 2002 right here on CBS. We'd like to acknowledge some very special people who helped make this night happen. Well, let's give a big thank you to Angelo Medina, president of Angelo Medina Enterprises. Dana Cruz, president of the San Juan 2002 Miss Universe Host Committee. The Honorable Mayor, Jorge Santini, the mayor of San Juan. with CBS of the Miss Universe organization, Mr. Donald Trump. And now, taking her final walk as the reigning Miss Universe, Denise Quinones. I couldn't be happier to return to the place where my journey began. It has truly been an unforgettable year filled with adventure, surprises, challenges, growth, tears, and smiles. There's also been a time of giving and making a difference. My work towards helping end HIV AIDS has been the most fulfilling experience of this journey. To all the people at the many incredible charities and health organizations, thank you for all your passion and commitment towards finding a solution. To everyone at the Miss Universe organization, my heartfelt thanks for your support, for the space to learn and grow, and for believing in my dreams and aspirations. To my family and friends, especially my dad, mom, and brother, you are my life and my soul. It was not easy being away from you during my travels. And last but not least, I would like to thank God for all the blessings that he has given me. This year, I got to personally admire and feel your masterpiece we call the world. What better prize package could one ask for? Well, thank you, Denise. From the accounting firm of Ernst & Young, this is Mark Ward 
who has signed off on the results, which I have right here. Thank you, Mark. I can't stand it. Okay, and now the fourth runner-up for Miss Universe 2002 is Venezuela. The third runner-up is South Africa. The second runner-up is China. Okay, ladies. Join us just down here. If for any reason the new Miss Universe can't fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take over. Is everybody nervous? Are I you know ready? Are. are you ready? Okay. The first runner-up is Panama. Russia, take your first walk as Miss Universe 2002. class and its regional affiliate American Eagle proudly transported the 75 delegates from around the world to the beautiful island of Puerto Rico. CBS Friday. <laughs> the bigger they are, the harder they fly. Die. It's television's funniest moments when your favorite stars screw up. Except they come well.